Tier 1 and Tier 2 Reporting, an overview of EBGRO requirements presented by UA Safe State. The Emergency Planning and Community Right to Know Act, EPCRA, of 1986 was created to help communities plan for chemical emergencies. It also requires industry to report on the storage, use, and releases of hazardous substances to federal, state, and local governments. EPCRA then requires that state and local governments and Indian tribes use this information to prepare for and protect their communities from potential risks of these substances. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration Hazard Communication Standard requires hazardous chemicals have an SDS, which a facility must maintain. This lists the criteria used to identify a hazardous substance based on its properties. EPCRA has four major provisions, emergency planning notification and emergency response plans, emergency release notifications, hazardous chemical inventory reporting, and toxic chemical release inventory. This video covers the EPCRA Hazardous Chemical Inventory Reporting requirements, referred to as Tier 1 and Tier 2 Inventory Reporting. So what facilities are covered? For facilities with extremely hazardous substances, if you have either 500 pounds or the threshold planning quantity, whichever is lower. For gasoline at a retail gas station, if the tank is greater than or equal to 75,000 gallons, if the storage is entirely underground and during the preceding calendar year, the tank was in compliance at all times with applicable national underground storage tank requirements or requirements of the state UST program approved by the agency. For diesel fuel at a retail gas station, the threshold level is 100,000 gallons, the tank is stored entirely underground, and during the preceding calendar year, in compliance at all times with all applicable national underground storage tank requirements or requirements of the state UST program approved by the agency. For all other hazardous chemicals at any facility, storage in quantities greater than or equal to 10,000 pounds. What are facilities required to do? Under Section 311 of EPCRA, if the chemicals stored or used at the facility exist at or above the reporting threshold, the facility must submit their SDSs to the State or Tribal Emergency Response Commission, Local or Tribal Emergency Planning Committee, and Local Fire Department. Facilities may choose to submit a list of the hazardous chemicals grouped into hazard categories instead. This is a one-time submittal. New facilities must submit this list within three months of becoming subject to OSHA regulations. Once a year, reporting facilities must submit an annual inventory report of the same chemicals. This inventory report must be submitted to the SERC or TERC, LEPC or TEPC, and the local fire department by March 1st of each year. The inventory form provides the physical and or health hazard of each hazardous chemical, their locations and quantities that were present at the facility during the previous calendar year. Facilities must also submit either a Tier 1 or Tier 2 form. Most states require the Tier 2 form. Tier 2 forms require basic facility identification information, employee contact information for both emergencies and non-emergencies, and information about chemicals stored or used at the facility. The EPA recently revised the Tier 2 form to include additional data elements which would be useful for local planners and responders. For more information on Tier 1 and Tier 2 reporting, or for assistance submitting one, please contact us at UA Safe State. We're here to help.